I've had a bearded a baby bearded dragon for three months and five days because I got her January tenth, twenty twenty one. Um, I just placed her salad bowl in her enclosure. Honestly, I don't know how old she is, and I don't know what her gender is, so I'm assuming it's a girl, I don't know. And then, in this container, we have one cricket and a few super worms. So, and you guys are going to watch her hunt today. We just give her the food call. And the reason why I give her the quicker as a food call is because so she doesn't freak out every single time something has gone into her enclosure for like when I need to clean or anything else. Now, I just dropped a dead cricket in there. I don't think she's going to eat it. Because she does not usually like dead prey items. She likes live hunting. Like live prey items because she likes to hunt them. So, I don't think she's going to eat that cricket. Now, these worms I'm feeding her right now are super worms. They're big, but she can handle them. Because... As you guys can see, she's taking them down no problem. Now, I'm dropping worms in there right now. Because... I have worm I've still I still have worm in the container but um she's probably getting those worms down that she's eaten in her stomach. So we're gonna watch her try to hunt these worms down. Don't worry, I put a salad in there like I've already said, but when she's a baby like this, the main source of food should be bugs. She's probably going to eat more off camera, so that's all that. Again, she is a, I don't, I don't know how bit, I don't know how old she is, so I've had her for a couple months, three months and five days, like I've already said, she's a baby bearded dragon, okay, and at this size, they're going to be eating super worms, doobie roaches, I've tried a hornworm once. She liked it, but it was still too big for her. So superworms are like the perfect feeder size because she can handle them with no problem. And yeah.